a week ago I decided now to go on a diet. A week ago it was the good Friday, so I had this opportunity to take this kick, to kick start my diet. That happened actually unplanned. I just wanted as a Catholic to fast a little bit on the Good Friday and also on the Saturday but I not that I wasn't eating anything because I, I'm still not a pro. I'm planning this in the future to just drink water but I bought a, yeah, First of all, I drank coffee a little bit, then I ate an apple, and then at 5 or 4 p.m. I brought some luxury bread with mineral water and I ate it. This luxury bread tasted very good and when you are fasted, fasted and also I'm doing sports, I was riding my bike so it tastes like honey. So then on, on the Saturday I ate uh, my wife's uh, uh, pasta but without uh, meat of course. And I was, what can I say? Uh, I was pretty good at this because a year ago just the uh, um, thinking about it made me weak and I, I very fast, fast uh, cracked. I remember I was then eating fish and a lot of uh, pasta. You know, I, this, is, this requires some experience. So after this then I felt the benefits, you know, like, like the <clears throat> vegan beginners. At first you you feel great because you see that your body is starting working properly. What do I mean by that? The thing that in these cavities around the belly that there is no almost no food left and that you can feel very comfortable on the bike and uh, you are lighter in walking this is so satisfying you, and uh, you don't necessarily feel bad about feeling some hunger because the body it fights it and in a sense you are feeling enlightened but of course this requires experience because if you are shaking are having a sugar crash and if you are all grumpy very grumpy then it's not the time so and after this that I decided now to really cut down on on, on the sweets I am a sweet lover you know I'm a bear and I love the sweets and what's the problem? You know, uh, of course I eat regular meals, very good meals, but I, I'm, after that I am always pinching on the sweets. And since I am very active, this doesn't have very detrimental consequences, but still it does. Apparently it does and I was weaker than I could be. Because once you are on a good diet, once you are not overeating, the body acts differently. The body is stronger. Something happens and this has explanations with these ITPs and so on. I'm interested in this. I'm going to study a little bit more. But the body likes this stimulus. So now I'm searching for the balance because I, I cannot starve myself, you know, then I would lose, also lose everything. That's the problem. For example, I, yesterday I only uh, ate a lot of porridge and a lot of nuts. 
and uh, I, drank, I drank milk, real milk, uh, by the way. When I see silk, some this is the, this is fake milk. No, real milk, real cow's milk, and a lot of fruits, and also a lot of fruits, a lot of nuts, different nuts, and uh, pumpkin seeds. And uh, I, I stuffed myself and I felt great because the problem is when I'm eating sweets I'm eating a lot of them and these dense calories they do accumulate even for me even if I'm very active and they are, they have an, an effect on the central nervous system also I'm pretty sure this is like with coffee too much coffee is bad you cannot focus so but I'm telling you I was waiting uh, for a long time for this I just um, like we quit smoking with quitting smoking you're waiting for the right moment of course you're telling yourself now or in 10 years and in 10 years I would be asking me, myself why I didn't do this in uh, 10 years ago now I am 41 so I don't have time to waste if I want to achieve the best results on the bike or in life or in, in my translation work I need to have control I need a lot of focus and a lot of power so this is why we are doing this so that we are strong in all aspects of life and this is not uh, some pure vanity to stand in front of the mirror, no. And this is, uh, this helps a lot, I'm telling you, on the bike, you, 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 uh, and I'm not talking about professional cyclists, this is another level, even I am not cycling a lot, I'm just going for an hour with full power, and this is this is it for me because like with deadlifts I'm looking for the best form possible so uh, one week in and I'm feeling not bad of course when I have the food for, uh, in, in the morning intermittent fasting and for example yesterday at 1 p.m. I was eating soup and then fish I don't quit, quit uh, meat, of course, but fish is so good also. So, you know, I, have, I get the feeling that I could pour this in, everything, at once. You have no idea how, how good it tastes to eat when you are really hungry. The same with work, you know. For example, you want to make a break. But you have to do this. You have to grind and grind and grind. You know, like Tom Platz once many times said. If you are feeling you are done, there are, all, all, there are always fun five more uh, reps. So, this is, this, this is it. I am telling you. Uh, I am hoping to see the results and I will update on this, but I am feeling good. And just, just this thing, you know, uh, you you don't have to overdo it. So I myself, I don't know exactly because I don't count calories. I go by feel, of course, because these calories they don't matter. Okay, when I eat some sweets, do you think I need them? This is also, yeah, a little bit I do need. There are some vitamins, maybe, some, you know, some irons or some something, some uh, uh, rare metals. Something is good there, too. But uh, I need all this power from porridge, from meat, from everything, you know. This, this is it. You have to... Uh, to soak in everything what what the nature what God gives you is so satisfying and of course you have to take just what you need you can take anything uh, but just not too much 
and that's the art and I think I, I will do it at the end uh, you you will see I will